Okay, this is a little video about how to make a fire. Not in an emergency situation, not in a survival situation, but just how to make a fire. I always carry around a little bit of rubber inner tube. Unless you wanna, <laughs> unless you wanna have your lighter constantly held like this and burn your fingers and ruin the lighter, trying to get a flame to catch onto your tinder, you need to have something that holds the flame and a bit of rubber holds the flame. So I cut it off. Okay, so I cut, cut off a little strip of rubber like that, and then cut one end. Basically that's a wick and it's going to burn and it's going to hold a flame for enough time for the tinder to catch. What I always do is make a little, a little bed for whatever fire I'm making, get it up off the floor, make sure that the ground's not wet at all, and it feels good. It feels good to have a little bed to make your fire on. Then, take an ever so slightly bigger bit and, and rest it across the bed. You've got the bed made like that, and you've got this little extra bit on top. Then, you get your you get your bit of uh, rubber in a tube, light it, and it's quite windy today, so uh, fingers crossed my body is going to protect most of the wind. You see that lit there? Right, this is where most people overcomplicate life. Tinder, that's just a bit of brush. You can just put it straight on top. You know, just place little sticks, you don't have to make it into a little pyramid. <laughs> you can do if you want, if you want to get a Cub Scout award or something like that. But you just put it on, you just plonk it on. It really doesn't matter. Flames like to jump, so don't put wood directly onto something that is um, already lit. Make sure it's just sitting just slightly above it, because the hottest part of the flame is the tip of the flame. Remember back in science class, the hottest part of a roaring flame is inside the flame, but the hottest part of a lazy flame, which this is, is the very, very tip. It's as if you were lighting a cigarette if you did such a nasty habit. It's the very, very tip. So allow the wood that you're adding to be at the very hottest part of the flame. So allow the flame to jump and live, leave loads and loads of space there. As you can see, lo and behold, the flames are leaping up and there's loads of air in there, there's loads of space in there. And that's how you make a fire. It's so not complicated. You need to make sure more than the biggest mistake people make is not allowing enough oxygen in there. So when you put wood on, just making sure that there's loads and loads of space for air to come in. And that's it. That's absolutely it. It's gradually increased the dimensions of the wood, but um, that's the fire. <laughs>